Hey everybody. So uh, this reading is from Courage to Change. It's number 183. Most of us have spent far too much time feeling badly about who we are and what we have done. We may have been harshly criticized by others, or we may have simply lost perspective and become overly hard on ourselves. Today we have an opportunity to stop that kind of self-destructive thinking. Isn't it about time we allowed ourselves to feel good about ourselves? It takes time for old doubts to fade and wounds to heal. Self-confidence comes slowly, but it grows with practice. We can begin by acknowledging that we do have positive qualities. For those of us who have negative, self-critical thoughts running through our he heads all day long, we can make an extra effort to counteract them with positive thoughts. For every defect we identify, we can also try to name an asset. Some of us find it helpful to list five or ten things about our day that we have a right to feel good about before we go to sleep. With practice, we learn to treat ourselves with gentleness and compassion. We all have many admirable qualities, and we owe it to ourselves to let them shine. Today's reminder, today I will make an effort to remember that I am a terrific human being. And the quote from Langston Hughes, everything there is but loving leaves a rust on your, on your soul. Okay, so on that note, um, you know, harshly criticized, um, nobody's perfect. We all come from a past, whatever that past is. We all have done stupid things and not so good things. And all of us have disobeyed the Ten Commandments. That is a for sure. The question is, when we look at ourselves and we reflect, we allow for that be still, you know, that quiet time to be with God, to be alone. And when we sit still, we can see, okay, you know, yeah, I have some of those negative traits and yeah, I have these other positive traits and they balance out, right? Um, and I want to focus on the positive traits that I have and to allow those to grow, the positive traits, and I want the negative traits to fall off, okay? And I'm supposed to be treating myself with gentleness and compassion and know that I have these positive traits and that they're going to shine. Now, here's the deal. I had a rough day today, okay? And um, I like to be a person that is inspiring, that is empowering, that sees joy and wants to connect the dots for myself and for other people and to be like, I'm your cheerleader, you know, like, hey, you didn't notice this. Check this out. You know, you are already doing this. Listen to what you just said. Hey, you know, you're on the right track. Okay. We all want to be encouraged. We all want to have that hope that things are going to get better. Okay. And when we have God as a foundation, and I'm talking about the God of Israel, the whole Jesus on the cross, death, burial, resurrection thing, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. When we have that part, okay, it dismisses a lot of lies just right there. And it takes a tremendous amount of stress away because we understand what the Bible says and we can relax into that, that stillness because we have that. But every day we're going to have the challenges that the world throws us. And today mine was with technology and technical service people and on the phone for hours with managers and supervisors and my issue is still unresolved. And the point is, I want to be a polite, kind person. But when I am pushed to my maximum, okay, and I'm really stressed out, I'm going to raise my voice, I'm going to sound probably more critical. Because I have to repeat myself 15 times with somebody that's not listening to me. And the point is, it's not that I'm being deficient. It's the person that's on the other end of the phone doesn't have the skills to be in that position. 
but yet that's the person that's supposed to be helping me. And then when I say it's obvious, you're not able to help me. Can we please escalate this to the manager? I really want to get this resolved today. They take it personally. And the point is I'm not taking it personally to them. They don't have the skills to resolve what I need resolved. But people get in their ego, they get their feelings hurt. And the point is, I don't want to be this nasty person that is, that people are perceiving that I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. I want to solve the problem. And sometimes in order to solve the problem, you need to escalate it to someone who has more experience than the person who's answering the call. And that means a manager or a supervisor. And a supervisor and a manager has a different level of authority they have the ability to call other people in and they have the, they have different access to different screens to see things that a you know a low level person doesn't have and the point is i'm not just frustrated with the fact that i'm locked out of my accounts or that i'm having difficulty getting some of these things resolved that's just one part of it it's about authority okay and i want to be able that when I'm talking to an organization, I want to be able to talk to the person that has the power. I want to be able to actually get my problem resolved. And I think, like everybody else, you know, we all want to get our problems resolved. We don't want to keep being detained and delayed that our problem is not important and we're going to go to the bottom of the pile. No, we want our problems to get resolved. And sometimes that means I have to speak up. And then when I speak up, I'm being perceived as being, you know, too difficult or demanding. It's like, no, I just, I just want my problem resolved. And I have a right to have my problem resolved. I should have a right to get into my online accounts every single day without a problem. That's, that should be a basic baseline that I can get on my iPhone, get into my accounts. I can get on my laptop and get into my accounts without any hassle. And I think anybody would want that. Because we do so many things online and we want them to work and function properly. And when they don't function properly, we want it resolved and we want it resolved quickly. We don't want to wait four days for somebody to get back to us. That's just, that's not okay. So we're reminded to, you know, be still. And um, I'm not perfect. I don't have this thing all figured out. I'm, I'm doing it one day at a time to the best of my ability with my level of concentration with all the other things that are on my plate for today. And like you, you know, I have things that I'm working on to become a better me. You know, yeah, I, I don't have other big sins in my life like I used to have before because I've I've learned how to submit and I've learned to let that Holy Spirit lead and I've learned to listen and sometimes the whole process of transformation is like you have to be in the process like the process is uncomfortable you know learning a new skill is uncomfortable being in an uncomfortable position is uncomfortable but that's part of the whole journey you know so I'm uncomfortable where I'm at and I'm plunging through that's it I hope you can do the same. Have a good one.